Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm working on a 2017 Toyota Sienna minivan, and I've watched a few videos on YouTube, and they were leaving out one important uh, factor about changing the oil filter that I'm going to do this quick video on. Okay. So your kit's going to come. You're going to have an oil filter like this. It goes inside of a housing, kind of like diesel trucks have. Um, it's not a metal oil filter like most vehicles have. Okay, you have a gasket for the housing. You have a gasket for the, the drain plug. This is the drain plug. You're going to need your 3 8 extension and a 3 8 ratchet to take this off. Okay, this gasket. This gasket fits around, but it fits in the housing, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay? Most important thing you need, it comes in the kit, is this drain uh, spout. Okay? Um, the videos I've watched spoke nothing about putting this drain spout in. They said that the filter would drain on its own. Mine did not. It had has some kind of baffle or gasket or, or something in there that's holding the pressure up. And when the pressure is up like that, you can't get that uh, cap off, the housing. You're also going to need this. You're going to need, um, and you see here it says, for Toyota and Lexus. All right, it's, it's got three grooves on it. And there's three, there's three um, plas heavy plastic um, veins that come down off of the, um, the oil filter housing. And this is going to go and fit up on it. Okay, now I'm going to go down onto the car. Let me show you what we're talking about here. Okay, here's your three eighths with your with your extension to drain the oil. All right, right there. That's the oil drain. This is the oil pan. Okay, oil drain, 14 millimeter, either uh, three eighths socket. 14 millimeter 3 8 socket with the 3 8 ratchet or a half inch three, uh, 14 millimeter with the half inch ratchet. Okay, now here, here's the thing in question. Okay, this is your uh, oil filter housing. And you see that, that um, 3 8 uh, little uh, circular um, drain fill or drain plug sits where this. Uh, drain spout is okay you take that out and then you plug this in i tried taking this housing off without draining the think thinking it's like a normal filter you just uh loosen it up and then it'll drain around it well this thing i couldn't get it off for nothing uh until i put this um this um, drain spout in it, it just snaps in you push it in and it snaps in and i i want to say about half a quart of oil came out which was keeping this whole housing under pressure. So now, uh, once that's done, now you, you pull that thing out, you pull out the spout, you put your, uh, your removal tool on there, and you, take, you spin this thing off and you put your gaskets on it and, and your new filter inside there, okay? That's everything. So you need, um, like I said, 14 millimeter for this, and then you need that tool or you probably can do it by hand if you have um, a big crescent wrench uh, or, uh, or um, um, I can't think of the name of them now. The big giant pliers, like a, like a plumber's plier or a plumber's wrench. Um, but I prefer to use the, it's, it's $9 at O'Reilly's, that, uh, that special, uh, special, socket whatever you want to call it that would go over this uh this um f filter housing all right so that's everything mike machines out <laughs> 